what a great season you guys had um, in Detroit. That was that was awesome. I'm wondering what it felt like from your perspective, Jared. Yeah, it was it was really fun, man. It was it was really fun mostly to do it with um, a lot of the guys that that were there, and, and certainly the coaches, but a lot of the players that were there to the year prior where things weren't as good, and to be able to come back and improve and, and get better, and, and you know put our process in place and see the results pay off is is, is super rewarding. So. Um, it was fun, but it, we got a lot of work to do this off season to continue to go in that direction. Yeah, absolutely, and it, and it seems to me again what uh, whatever uh, Coach Campbell is selling, the rest of the team is buying. What what is he selling, Jared? Yeah, he's selling a whole lot, but he's a he's a he's a hell of a, a job of doing it. You know, he, we we trust him, we believe in him. Um, you know, he's he's a lot of fun to play for. I think you know our toughness, our grit is kind of what we rely on, but. Um, you know, I think ultimately us coming together as a team has been the most important part and, and sticking together and trusting each other and trusting the coaches and then trusting us. It became a, you know, a really good family there and something that's continuing to grow. You got a good Dan Campbell story. You got a favorite Dan Campbell story when you said it's fun to play for him. You got one for me, Jared? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm running out because I, I, I get asked this question probably more than anything in, okay. in my life nowadays. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could I could give you a few. Um, Please, I, I gave one earlier today, but uh, he was speaking in a team meeting, and I actually had forgot about this story. Just to give you some reference on, it. I forgot about this story because it was so long ago until St. Brown brought it up this weekend at the Pro Bowl. But um, he was speaking in a team meeting one time, and his he, he must have a fake tooth, and his tooth fell out, um, hmm. and he kind of just picked it up off the floor, put it back in, and just oh. kept talking like <laughs> like nothing happened. And, um, and maybe that's why I forgot about it because it, it seems somewhat normal at the time. So I guess uh, it's uh, a fake tooth is like I don't. I'm thankfully I have the, everything in my mouth right now is still the genuine article. Um, a, a tooth is like gum. It's there's a five second rule when it drops on the floor. Is that what you're saying? Uh, oh yeah, for sure. Uh, it, it was definitely less than five seconds. He's in the clear. But nobody after the meeting said, "Hey, did anybody notice Coach's fake tooth popped out and he popped it back in the mouth and kept talking?" Like you know, there may have been like a serious meeting. I don't quite remember. It was last, I think it was last training camp. Huh. Um, so I think we kind of just like let it go and, and moved on. And um, I had forgot about it actually until St. Brown brought it up this weekend. So was it, so Hard Knocks has video of it? Was it this past training camp? No, it, was, it was last, it was like oh. last year, like, like 2021. Otherwise that would have been on HBO like it was the Sopranos in two seconds flat. That would have been, that would have made right. it big time. Okay. So, cause it does seem to me that, 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 um, uh, when you're when you watched some of the playoff games this 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 time around, did you think um, had we gotten in, had the results happened the way that you needed, um, somebody might not have uh, won a game because you would have gone in and knocked them off? Any thought on that, Jared? You, you, what you put, I'm sorry, Rich. When you're watching the playoffs this year, did you think, hey, if we if we were there, we would have gone further, we would have beaten this team sure. that 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 won? Did you sit there and think that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you never know. I think we would have loved to get our chance in the playoffs and see what would happen. I think we proved through the second half of the season that we could play with anybody and beat anybody. So, yeah, you never know what would have happened. But, yeah, you sit here every year if you don't make it and, and kind of look at those teams and go, man, we could have beat them. We could have done that. And, uh, but ultimately, you got to get in there and do it. So, um, you know, one more game for us would have, would have done it. And uh, this next year coming, we got to make sure we don't start – start slow um, like we did unfortunately this season catch the rich eisen show every single day on the roku channel 12 to 3 eastern for free